Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this Christmas card. The only piece of stamping on this card is the inside. The rest of it is cut and stick, which I have cut out. So this card is not going to take very long. Um, I have used the die, no, cards. Got a card base, a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnish. A piece of night and navy at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And a piece of white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have got Holly Jolly Christmas. And out of this, I have used this die, the reindeers, and this die, Ooh, I've cleaned it probably, look at that, and it says to the season, tis the season, I should say. I also used um, Carols of Christmas. This is a really old set, but I used the trees, their dies, and I've got that's them there. The snowbank I cut by hand. There's the season. But all oh, the stars I've got a little pot of them. I have got a bow and you have to poke all these stars out of the top bit to make the bow, to make the pattern on the bow. So I kept them all for Christmas, for when I want to do this. So I've got a few left. So we'll use that. The inside I've just used this one, Snowflake Sentiments. And wishing you a season of joy, a season of cheer, but most of all a wonderful year. So I've just used that. So let's just stamp that and get it out of the way. stamp something. Not a lot. Put that to the side for now. We don't need it. Put the one and only stamp away because we don't need it. Right. The bits I've cut out I have used glitter. Iridescent glitter paper. It's mainly white. Oh it's creamy white. So this bit was one and a half, and that's a half an inch there. And I just cut it all the way down, giving bumps. And that will be our snow banks. I have made it a bit shorter here, because here there wasn't much. I only just got the reindeer on with the trees. So we're going to have, and I squashed them all together. I didn't want to squash them together. I had no choice because I left them too high and that's how I wanted it and there is the die cut from the it's also out of the glitter now that is too high so I'm going to have to move it or just tuck it down a bit more I do and then there's my 
just a season. But what I'm going to do is cut round some knight and navy to put it on the back because if you put that straight down you can't really read it. So what I did was grab a pencil and drew around the sentiment. Just take that there. And cut this out. Once when I did it, I didn't draw where I just stuck the sentiment on and cut round it. Everybody can do that. So, this is just another way of doing it. I'm waiting on some more dies to come. Not stamping up. Um, sentiment dies where they've got the backing as well as the words so you can cut the words out and then you can cut the backing card as well right Now when I glue that on, I will trim that off a little bit neater. So I'm going to glue it on and then let it dry. And then I should trim it off a bit neater. This is why I need a thinner tip of glue. Hopefully the new bottles will it's supposed to be coming today, but they haven't come here yet. But then Amazon can deliver any time. So Right, let that dry and then we'll trim that down and make it tidier. Right, get that out of the way now. And what we'll do is glue, I think I'll glue these trees down first. And do the reindeer. Oh. Just in a bit, I never poked out.
and then add our snowbank. Just realised this has got like a plastic backing, and then this just goes right across the bottom. Of the card. This must be one of the quickest cards I've done. Well, putting together. Takes you a little while to cut all the stuff out. Especially out of glitter. not sticking on top so I might have to put a glue dot there if I can find my glue dot settings glitter everywhere. Right, let's get some stars stuck on shall we? Right, right I have got a pick me up pencil and I'm going to put some dobs of Glue. It's a bit more than I would have put on. Right. quite a lot of them in the pot upside down work our way around this. Tied it up a bit. Here's a little tip for you, if you do cut round something just holding it on, 
keep your scissors at an angle and then you're less likely to cut your whatever you're cutting round if you keep them at an angle Right, I think that won't do. <laughs> Just cut around these bits at the bottom. when it's sitting on there you'll be able to see it. Now I popped it up on dimensionals. I did put quite a few on, I know that. Use all these bits up. And a bit there. And that little bit there. Rubbish. All the backings off. And there we have it. One glittery card. I can see why I don't work with glitter very often because it is a mess. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, and if you hit the bell by icon, um, you will be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and yeah well all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon <laughs>